Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be coloring in a drawing I did. Um, it's based off of My Hero Academia, and this one is Ichiro Kirishima um, as a baby shark, and he's super cute. <laughs> so, let's get started. I'm going to first start off with WG2, which is a warm gray, to color in his uh, skin. Now the reason why I decided to draw Ichiro as a, sorry I'm using his first name, Kirishima as a baby shark is because his teeth is super cute and kawaii and he just has these really pointy teeth so people often refer to him as like a shark. So I decided to play off of that aspect of him and make him into an actual baby shark. I did give him some parts where it's like his hardening skin, so kind of like rock. Um, you can see like the different lines in different areas. It's been so long since I actually drew like animals, so. This was really testing my limits. Um, cause normally when you draw like people that are like animals, you kind of want to do like the human eyes to get the character across. But I found when I was drawing, cause I draw like double eyelids and stuff like that. So it makes the character look super serious. And then when you translate that onto like an animal, it's like, that doesn't look cute. <laughs> So, so I was like trying to play off of their eyes, but making like shabby eyes where it's super cute and kawaii and just round and bubbly. It has a lot of sparkle sparkle to it. It was also kind of difficult to come up with like, okay, what are they going to be wearing that makes them like the character? I feel like for Kirishima, it was so much easier in terms of he doesn't really wear much. Like he doesn't wear anything on top. So you don't have to be like, oh, I got rid of his shirt because he doesn't wear a shirt to begin with anyways for the most part when he's out in his hero costume. His hero costume consists of pants though. So I took that out. And because he's a shark, I just put on his red riot belt and the cloth, which is super cute. I think it goes well in terms of like, he's a shark, so that's all that he has. And then he can swim around with it and it won't get in the way. And I did give him his black arm sleeves, so I'm going to color in those later too. We technically reach to his hand and then kind of block out a certain part, but because I didn't really have... He doesn't have hands, he has fins here, so I had to deal with that and kind of work around it. So I made it like the tips of his um, fins actually stick out. I'm going to use WJ WG4, which is another warm gray. Just a touch darker, and I'm going to use it to kind of shade him in a bit.
I made his um little um shoulder pad things just a bit more simplified because to be honest I did struggle with drawing that that part of him like in terms of his costume forget to do this part which is his tail But to make it cuter, I just simplified it too, because it looks a bit too serious when you draw it completely. He's not like this angry shark where it's like, oh, I'm super angry. He's like a baby shark because his personality is like super caring and he's like super happy. So I wanted like an actual baby shark, not like, oh, I'm an angry shark. Look at me. I'm going to eat people. There's his tail. I'm going to shape that part too because he has some rock skin over here okay and then i'm going to use gg9 which is green gray to color in the darker parts which are supposed to be black but i'm going to use this I did include his whole entire jaw piece mask because that's just something that's a part of him. It was kind of difficult in terms of like, how am I going to move this around like a, a shark face, like a shark head? Because it's like this, this metal plate around him and it doesn't make sense to have it on a shark, but it kind of worked out. Like, I like that part of his costume so much because it's just a part of who he is, too. So I really wanted to add it in. There it is. And then I'm going to go to his sleeves. And I mentioned before, like, Kirishima is, like, my favorite character out of all of them. It's just because he's, like, so down to earth. Like, you think this guy who's, like, talking about, like, being super manly and stuff like that, you think, like, he's too macho. But, like, inside, when you get to know the character in the story, if you watch it, it's so amazing how, like, this guy who you think is going to be, like, so macho because he's talking about manly stuff, the way he dresses, like, being shirtless. <laughs> Normally, like, you think it's going to be, like, some macho guy that's not really down to earth and he's just all about his muscles, but his character is so cool and that's why he's, like, my favorite. I'm going to use R4, which is Vivid Red. If I can open the marker. Some of these markers haven't been opening well for me. So I've been using the chisel tip.
But yeah, like his whole personality is so amazing. And if you ever watch the show, tell me who your favorite character is. Because I honestly like a whole bunch of them. And I can't really pinpoint one. But for sure, like, Hiroshima has to be my most favorite. Just because how he acts. Then I'm going to use R1 to shape, to color in the uh, other parts of the costume. And then I'm going to color this part, his belt. What's funny is Kirishima wasn't a favorite character of mine before when it started. Like, of course, Deku is very likable and he's cute. So I like Deku a lot. But um, over time, it was like... Because normally, I don't like characters to have this type of design like oh their muscles are showing and stuff like that like I really for some reason I'm not into that type of character but I guess my ideas have changed <laughs> my perspective has just changed because his personality just has it as like a whole other dynamic to the character So that's the first half of the belt. So his belt is done, and all I need to do is use a light gray for his white part, like his white belly. I'm just going to shade a bit of that to bring out more of the character. So I'm going to use CG 0.5, which is a cool gray. Like, another reason why I really like Kirishima is because his personality just fits so well with Bakugo in terms of he's friends with him. And they have, like, different personality in terms of, like, yes, they're both manly characters, but in terms of, like, being themselves, like, Kirishima is super happy and, like, he doesn't always try to compete that much and he understands like friendships and values while Bakugo in the story I feel like he doesn't really hold that much value to friendships yet and he's trying like he's slowly getting there but not as much but 
you see his dynamic with like Kirishima and how he actually like how he actually is friends with Kirishima in a way and I know like he's like oh I don't have friends and stuff like that but in reality when you look at it it's like he's not that bad because he's with Kirishima and I feel like Kirishima is like one of those people like those characters that like can keep him and can keep Bakugo in check which is just amazing because like Bakugo is supposed to be like really strong and Kirishima isn't as powerful in terms of his powers like his quirk but at the same time this just that level of like strength from him as well so yeah, it's pretty cool. I keep ranting on about Kirishima though because he's amazing and he's my favorite. So here's the overview of the drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check down in the description box below all my social medias there. You can go like and follow those. This baby shark drawing of Kirishima. Um, all of the process work will be posted on there. I'm not making any outlining videos for these drawings just because... Just because I'm trying to use the outlining as like relaxing because I'm sitting at home doing nothing. So I don't want to be like filming everything I'm doing. But yeah, basically, I'm not going to be doing that. But if you want to see my other My Hero Academia drawings, you can check out my drawings playlist as well. I also did Deku and Bakugo as animals too. So they're cute. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!